I've got my latest haul from a taste of the states, including this extremely weird product, which I want to run through. Uh, and also just found some really cool bits at some local shops. Let's go through all of this in this shopping haul. Yes, hello everyone. Welcome to Food Review UK. My name's MJ. Not only have I got the A Taste of the States stuff, but I've also been sent a couple of other packages uh, that were hashtag we didn't paid. You know, we were sent these. So I'm excited to show you these as well. But the A Taste of the States stuff is always so exciting. Use our code FRUCK20 for 20% off. That is a good discount. So much so it deserves a little clip of me dancing. Yes you'd be foolish not to use Fruct 20. This is freeze-dried Twinkie. Yes, look at that. Little pieces of Twinkie cake. I'm absolutely gonna have to do a review on these because they look absolutely insane. This is Pop-Tarts Frosted Apple Fritter. So hopefully it'll be, um, you know, I'm hoping there's gonna be a, like, a little bit of a taste of donut in there, but, um, not expecting too much too different from like an apple, a normal apple pop tart probably. We'll see. I got several drinks this time. So this one I have had before, hashtag honesty, I have tried this one before. This is called Mountain Dew Spark and it's raspberry lemonade with uh, obviously the standard blast of Mountain Dew flavour. It is absolutely lovely. Yeah, I bought, a, they had a can around in the local, um, local grocers. Um, yeah, really fortunately, so I managed to grab that. This was quite cheap from the Taste of States, actually. A couple of quid or something. Um, very good, especially with the 20% discount, you know. So do that, guys. Uh, actually, I should should say, I sort of implied already, uh, we did get sent these. We did get sent these from A Taste of the States. So, honesty, hashtag we didn't pay, etc. Uh, anyway, I also got a couple of new Polar Seltzers. I think these are sort of like kiddie sort of aimed ones because we've got Unicorn Kisses, which is a fruit flavour one, and Mermaid Song. Now this is, wa yeah, watermelon with cherry. So yeah, excited to try these two. Low calorie drinks, or no, sorry, naturally calorie free. Zero calories, you know? Do you like that new emoji? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like looking for the calories, so you're not going to find them here. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, Nate and Gossie, if you're watching, look away now because soon we will review Twizzlers gummies. The boys absolutely love Twizzlers. It's one of their favourite brands. So excited to try Twizzlers gummies with them. Uh, by the way, there's pineapple and strawberry, passion fruit and strawberry, and mango and strawberry. That's really cool. This is a funny one because I borderline forgot that I even added these to my basket. I mean, a I do sort of, I do want, no, do, no, not sort of want them. I absolutely, sort of desperately want them. So it's good that I've got them. Uh, it's Fruity Stripes. Now basically Fruity Stripes is a gum, a chewing gum in America, and it basically tastes exactly like our version of Juicy Fruit. Um, except here, I think, I think, I think, I don't know. Am I correct? Let me, let me know in the comments below if I'm right or not. I don't. Um, but it says on the back actually that there's lemon, cherry and tangerine flavours. So now, I don't know what to think. Oh my god. No, I'm going to show you them last. Right, this is a, like an ultimate, ultimate freebie. Um, when you place orders on a Taste of the States, they will just throw in random free bits for you. So I've got a random pencil there. Candy. I've got some M&M's. Keebler or Kebler bite-sized cookies just for a work snack one day when I'm in the office. Mike and Ike Tropical Typhoon and this is extraordinarily interesting in my humble opinion. It, is it a bit butter visiony? Rolo dark salted caramel. That might not be entirely in focus and I'm sorry. Another freebie, a little um, strawberry pop. But here, the last three items. I should say this box was packed with uh, like packing peanuts, like those potato starchy polystyrene things, to keep them in good condition. So uh, I'm excited for all of these. Look, so I've got pretzel peat, seasoned pretzel, cinnamon brown sugar. Uh, these are going to be incredible, I can only assume. Then similarly, I've got a big bag here 
of Pop Daddy Pretzels. These are pretzel sticks and this is cinnamon sugar flavour. Absolutely love the packaging on here. And also, I was sort of expecting... I was expecting this to be like half the size. This is a really good size. And last, but by no means least, I think this has got to be the, my most anticipated item in the whole box this week or this month, whatever it is. Um, again, it's the Pop Daddy pretzel sticks, maple and brown butter. I think that sounds absolutely extraordinary and it has got a Canadian flag, so... Oh, Canada. There's the last few peanuts. Make it rain. Recycle that. But no, I know we don't do the recycling, Claire. I'm just pretending that I'm a good pet. Yeah, I'll stick it on the bonfire that we're going to do later. Yeah, you've just got to pretend to the. You've got to pretend that we recycle. So yeah, really important to recycle, guys. Uh, blah. Um, that was a joke, by the way. We do actually recycle, and we will recycle that cardboard because we want to save the planet. Just because we're good people, <laughs> you know. God. Niche. I think I'll go through the stuff that I got at the few shops that we visited today first. So I believe this is the newest flavour of Vimto. Blackberry, raspberry and blueberry. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is the, the new one. Um, to be honest, I don't even mind, I don't even care if it's not the new one. I haven't had it and I'm excited to try the Vimto blends. I think their fruit blends are just really interesting. I also got the Red Bull Summer Edition. I've actually seen this in a couple of places. We also saw it in pretty much every country that we visited when we went abroad a couple of weeks ago. We went to France, Belgium, Germany, and the Netherlands. Rewind. Uh, we went to France, Belgium, Netherlands, and Germany. And I think they had it everywhere. Just couldn't be bothered to pick it up and ferry it home. But got the UK version there. And this, very excited for this. Um, I don't drink often, but when I do, I will next time I get drunk I might try and have the dragon seat. Um, I've never seen this flavour, it's red cola cube or red cola I should say red cola dragon fruit um, I only seen dragon fruit in like a handful of shops it's not like massive in this rough local area however we went to a few stores in Milton Keynes today and they had quite a few flavours, they had like five flavours that I've not seen like in the flesh before and this was the one I was most excited about. So I was like, damn, that is the first time I've seen it in like five years. Let's go for it. And then two extremely exciting products here. So went into Heron Foods. I mean, it's sort of Heron Foods. It's actually branded as B&M Express. But like on the, like the outside is B&M Express. But when you go inside, all of the labels are Heron Foods and stuff. Anyway, I saw in, Ke I think it was Kev Snack Reviews, the Instagram page. Um, minions, banana, uh, banana jammy dodgers. I think they're going to be really weird. Probably will review them. I think that'll be a good fun review. Um, but I was excited to see, you know, we were disappointed at first because we couldn't see them. We saw the jammy dodgers on the shelf and they weren't anywhere to be seen. We did find them just before paying in a little promotional basket down one of the aisles. However, before we spotted that, this I was extremely excited about. Been looking for these for really a couple of months. Been keeping an eye out for them since they were posted on Instagram. Swizzles Marvelous Mallows Drumsticks. These are drumstick flavour marshmallows. Extremely excited. As I say, saw them in Heron Foods. Very unsurprisingly. Went in for this. More excited to find these. Right then, next thing. These last couple of things are things that we've been sent by companies. Um, so this was sent from Willy's Cacao, or Willy's, it is, it is pronounced cacao, isn't it? Willy's Cacao. Willy's, you know, the, the chocolate folk. Uh, we saw a video on sorted food recently where you can get like a like a round the world tasting kit and stuff. So we're definitely gonna do a video. I think I've got something like that here. I'm not sure, I haven't opened it yet. But they also said they'd send in some of the recent ones that they've done. So these are labeled El Tesoro. I don't exactly know what the relevance of that is, but all of these are different flavours um, labelled on the back. So we have got caramelised, and oh no, by the way, I haven't read these yet, so this is completely new to me. Caramelised nuts, caramelised almonds and cashews in Sir Del Lago 70 dark chocolate, 70% dark chocolate. So that sounds really interesting. That's called number 46 of the collection. Very interesting. This one's called Super Oishi. 
Awajan 70 Dark Chocolate with Black Garlic and Miso. Good grief, that sounds weird. Um, oh my memory card just got filled up, so I don't know exactly where I got up to, so I'm just going to read the most recent thing. This is interesting. Blood, orange, and cashew. Barracoa, 65% dark chocolate with blood, orange, and cashew. Very, very, very interesting indeed. But what have we got in this box? Okay, yeah, so this is the chocolate discovery box with milk and dark chocolate. Basically, yeah, just basically loads of random and weird flavours. So for, I won't read all of these out, but for, for example, I've got thing like, uh, things like white chocolate with yuzu, white chocolate with hojicha chi, ch chi, hojicha tea. We've got luscious orange collection, matcha, forgotten flavors. Yeah, this is gonna be a really exciting video to film. So just look at the designs. Oh, it's like one of those um, slide puzzles from when you were a kid, isn't it? Look at that, wow, although you want, to see, you want to see the green one, don't you? Wow. Yes, very exciting for that. Exciting for that, guys. Excited is obviously what I meant to say. Ah, this is all going wrong, in it? No, I love this, it's good. No, this is good. This is a good channel. You should watch this channel. Right, and the last thing, I believe, I believe these are all new flavors from Black Friars Flapjacks. Um, Let's see what we got. I think I know what this one is. That's the only one where I think I know what it is. Yeah. Raspberry white chocolate. So as a new flavor of um, flapjack. Not my not my preferred flavor combination, I'll be honest. But let's see what else we got. Cookies and cream. Now we're bloody talking. Uh, what else have we got? Salted caramel. Very nice. I reckon from the colours here, I'm going to say birthday cake. Birthday cake. Delicious vanilla flavour oat flapjack with a white chocolate topping, raspberry jam filling and sprinkles. That sounds pretty cool. And the last one, got to be chocolate orange, right? Yeah. Chocolate orange. All of the big trendy flavours here. Uh, fair play to Black Friars for jumping on those trends because those are all very popular flavours. And nice packaging there as well. Thanks, Black Friars. That's it guys, that's all I've got. Fruck 20 that's our code. A taste of the states, use it. You'll save extreme amounts of money and you'll be glad that you did. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Cheers.